Yo guys, welcome back to my PCO Vivid Voltage video. Today, guys, we're going to be finally tackling the brand new Zerud V here. And I think Zerud V is a great partner now for the Rillaboom deck. I think that it makes Rillaboom VMAX a lot stronger now in our meta. Um, so we're going to be trying this deck out. So guys, again, if you guys have been enjoying the Vivid Voltage content, as always, guys, make sure to leave a like on the video if you have been enjoying the content recently. So this deck, it's pretty cool. Zerud is a great addition, having Jungle Rising for two grass. Uh, you only do 100 damage, which is fine. You can soften stuff up for the knockout with max speeding, but you can attach up the two basic energies from your hand to your Pokemon, bench Pokemon, any way like. And if you do, you heal all damage. So one combo we can try to do is we can use the root to actually fully heal Rillaboo. We can go like max speeding, discard the energy, and then sometimes we can switch into Zerud, either finish stuff off or set stuff up to be KO'd, and then we can reattach the energy to the Rillaboom with energy retrieval, and then we get to fully heal this thing, and with a big charm on it, we get to have 306 HP, so it's a really good combo. We can also combo this with, like, uh, Egg Route 2, which is really good. So Zerud is a great addition to this deck. Um, so yeah, forget the video, guys. Core shout to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCO pack codes, get them over our Car Cabin. Car Cavern sells PCO codes for the cheapest on the market. So yes, if you guys still are looking for any Vivid Voltage Pack codes or Champions Path codes, Sword and Shield codes, or any specific GX or V code, get them over at Car Cavern, guys. If you do get any codes over at Car Cavern TCG, make sure to use code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. Greatly helps the channel, helps yourself out, and helps out Car Cavern. So yeah, shout out to Car Cavern, guys. Check them out. Use code LDF at the checkout. Um, you also shout out to the GG Tour uh, Chill TCG tournament coming up very soon. In just a couple of days, guys, um, registration window is going to be closing very soon. So I'll have it linked down below. It is a free to enter tournament and it is going to be a cash prize pool. And of course, guys, if you sign up, use referral code Little Dark Fury. The tournament, the top eight guys, is going to be casted by me and Azul GG. So if you guys want to go, Enter the tournament. Again, a link will be down below. It's free to enter. It's going to be a lot of players. There's a cash prize pool. And again, top eight is going to be casted by me and Azul on Azul's Twitch. So check it out and make sure to enter that tournament and use referral code Little Dark Fury. Let's take a look at the deck now. So Zerud V, Rillaboom, great combo. Um, again, being able to fully heal your VMAX is really good. 100 damage is not amazing, ideally. But you know what? It can set up numbers. You can finish stuff off, too, once you hit with max beating. Um... And of course, we are playing the Rillaboom here. We're using the Egg Route Rillaboom engine. I'm not sure if I like Egg Route over Rare Candy to power up um, and get this uh, Rillaboom into play, but it's what we're going to be working with today. And then, of course, we have Rillaboom VMAX doing 280 damage at most. And again, it won't one-shot a lot of VMAXs. You're taking out most tag teams, and then you can, of course, finish off VMAXs with Jungle Rising and then fully heal your Rillaboom. So you can kind of have like a little back-and-forth combo there. To go with this uh, Zerud, we do play 4 Switch and 3 Bird Keeper, so we can constantly be switching in between the two. Um... We have E-Retrieval to get your energy back. I know there is no counter to fire. That is the only issue with this deck. I couldn't think of any good fire counters. You could play the double in the deck, but the problem with the double V is double is not going to carry you to a win. Like, double can't take out... Like, two double isn't going to solo you against Senescorch. You know what I mean? So, I don't think the double is really that good in this deck. Um, you could play one double if you want to help against fire. You could play weak guard energy, but that's like grass energy that you can't use with this because it only works with basic energy if it did work with a uh, weak guard i would say play weak guard all the way um going to the rest of the deck we just have you know your typical cards calm quick ball stamp i am playing a turf field you know it gets you real booms and v maxes you got three birds uh three bird keeper to boss for marnie three research pretty straightforward deck here we got two big charm two um and then of course 12 basic energy honestly i would like to play more energy or energy retrievals if i'm gonna be honest with you or another ornate rod um Another cool interaction is like Marnie E-Retrieval as a way to put energy back in the deck for Rillaboom. Like if you're trying to do Voltage Beat again, you could like Energy Retrieval, two energy in your hand, and then play Marnie, which puts the energy in the deck, which means you can then search them out with Voltage Beat. So that's another cool interaction. Let's go try the Zerud Rillaboom deck out. See in action on PCGO. All right, guys, get into the first match here with our Zerud Boom deck, as I like to call it. And uh, we'll see how we do here with the deck. Uh, looks like we've lost the coin flip. That's fine. We do get a Rillaboom V start. Okay, not the greatest starter we can we can use, but we do have a lot of switching out. So we'll see what we can uh, we can pull off here with our uh, top deck. Looks like we're playing against an Orbeetle, but they have a Zacian too. I'm very confused. Uh, maybe they're just playing Orbeetle, but they're using like Intrepid Sword every turn, which honestly isn't the worst thing ever. I mean, that's not honestly not that bad of an idea. Um, using Intrepid Sword with Orbeetle. That's actually kind of smart. Um, okay, well. We can do a lot of healing here, which I think is really good. Alright. Our hand, though, isn't super hot. We aren't going to be able to pull off the Exeggutor combo here unless we go with 
Looks like we have to go with a. Uh, I have to go Crobat here. Yeah, I'll go Crobat. We could Dene. I don't want to give her my Rillaboom though. Not really trying to get rid of our Energy Accelerator. Didn't get a switch. We can calm though for the Egg Row at least. We can still get there. It's not over yet. We got our research. Can we get a switching card now? Yes, we do get a switch. Alright, that's all that matters. We hit the switch. We do have an ornate rod. Um, yeah, we'll play it. We'll get back the energy. Just make sure we have a lot of energy in the deck. And then we'll just super growth. Get the uh get the Rilla Boomer in play. And then here we next turn we can attack with Egg Row, heal a little bit, and then we can go with the Zarud combo if they hit me, because we have Bird Keeper. We could try to Tropical Hour them, too. Don't want to put too much energy on one Egg Row, though, because, of course, we can get knocked out by that Orb Beetle. If we don't attach to Rillaboom V, or the Rillaboom either, I mean, this thing's like never going to get knocked out. It's got a lot of HP, and even if it does, we can always Zarud and just put energy on it and heal it. So, feeling pretty good there. We'll see what kind of uh, deck they're playing, though. What kind of, like, other Pokemon are in the Orbeetle deck? Like, they might have a few. Okay, they got Flapple. Okay, I figured they'd be playing some other kind of sniping engine in the deck. So, probably gonna get the VMAX here. Okay, so I think we want to go, like, hit him with Egg Row. Maybe then go into, like, Rillaboom VMAX if we can. Want to get the Zerud down at some point. I think healing is going to be pretty relevant in this matchup, considering my opponent can spread a lot of damage. We'll see. They're only going to be doing 50 here, so they're not going to be doing much to me. They could two-shot me, though, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. They, yeah, they can two-shot me. I still think we just hit with the egg row. They might knock me out, though, which I don't want to have happen. Maybe we can bird keep into the Rillaboom. Oh, maybe not. They're going to Marnie me. Never mind. There goes that play. Guess we're not going to bird keep right now. Let's see what we get here. Okay, we got Switch. Okay, so we can switch into the uh, Rillaboom V. I think we want to try to go Rillaboom V Max here. I mean, Eggrow's going to get knocked out. They're going to get the first hit on me. Like, 50 damage. We get to heal 30. We'll have 3 energy on. That's 200 damage. Actually, maybe we can attack with Common Hurricane. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe Common Hurricane. I well, I guess they have Flapple, too. So let's see. They got 50, so we have 210 HP. We get to heal 30 of that. We we'll go to 240 HP. They'll do 200 damage with this. Well, 40 HP left. So they'd go Eerie Beam and Flapple. So they could knock me out with double Eerie Beam and a Flapple there. So all of that, we need to kill my real, my Egg Row. I think we actually attack with the Egg Row then. I don't really want to get rid of these switches though. I might just hold the hand and just let him Marnie me again. Don't really actually. Yeah, I don't really want to lose these switches, but I think we got it. I think we actually should dig those still. Definitely try to get that VMAX we can. Didn't get it. We do get Zerud. We can bench that. We also got another uh, Grookey that can turn into a Thwacky. I guess. They can't knock it out. We'll call me an Hurricane and just hope they don't KO me here. I guess we also could have held the hand in Super Growth into the room VMAX, but I think hitting them is fine because we can two-shot them. We have 204 HP, so they need to go... They need to go double Eerie Beam and Flapple here if they want to knock me out. Which is actually quite a bit to do. That's a lot they have to do there, so we might be safe. We might be safe. We can knock them out uh, Tropical Lava GX next turn too if they don't kill me, which is pretty good. We can reset all their energy. Ooh, they got a Malo and Alana. Never mind. Ooh, they have a one card hand though. Do they have a Dedene? Do. Do they have a Dedene? Because they could still knock me out. Potentially, they could still technically knock me out here. If they get a, they have like a way to go Orbital VMAX switch Flapple. No, they're gonna strafe for twenty. That's not good for them. We drew a boss, so we can go get Thwacky down. We can actually just boss out the Orbital here, and then hit them with a Tropical Hour GX, which is pretty good. And they're in top deck mode, too. We are going to run out of potentially energy, but I think we'll be okay. We got 12 in the deck. Yeah, Tropical Hour GX reset all their energy and pretty much put them back to square one. I think this is good. And we have the option to retreat into Zeru 2 next turn and heal if we really want. So that's good. I think we just swing with... I mean, Negro is going to get knocked out. We have six energy on us, so probably do want to get this thing out of the active spot. <laughs> Just a Sonya, that's not really good for my opponent. 
They get an ore beetle and an applin. They don't even get energy. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why they wouldn't get a... They should have gotten energy. I guess they have Intrepid Sword, but no energy attachment is good for us. So we just knock them out with Calming Hurricane again. We can Marnie them here, which is pretty good. Might as well. We could have done Rillaboom, but I don't know what I want to power up just yet. So There's the VMAX. All right, nice. We got a stamp. So once they knock out the Egg Rail here, we have Rillaboom VMAX to go off of. So we're just going to Calming Hurricane. We're not going to bother with Voltage Beat. We could power something up and then they can get like hit by the Orb Beetle at some point. So I, I don't know. We just hold just hold our Voltage Beat, I think. There's an E-Retrieval. That's a good prize. Rillaboom's good. Bird Keeper's also good. We can Bird Keeper. We can do that Zarud play. We'll see what they can do. I mean, we do have to hit the Orb Beetle once to knock it out with Rillaboom VMAX's max beating. So we got to do that first. Oh, they're going to Marty me again. They're gonna Marnie me too. All right, rip this hand. I mean, this was actually a good. We had the Rillaboom too. I didn't realize. We also had Rillaboom. We had a perfect hand. We got Boss back though, which is good. I mean, Boss works too. Just a strafe again. I mean, that's not good for them. Now we just need a Chaosation to win. So now we can just go do this. We can just Calming Hurricane, knock him out. They'll knock me out with Orbital VMAX, which I don't even know if they'll have at this point. Considering they uh, they need to get the VMAX and an energy. So they, they knock out my aggro. We bring in the Rillaboom VMAX. And we max BD knock out their Zacian. Alright, cool beans. Unless they Marnie me again, which of course they somehow have. How many Marnie is that? It's three Marnie. Oh my god. The Marnie spam is real. Can we get the boss still? No. Okay, well. That's unfortunate. I didn't expect them to have another Marnie there, not gonna lie. I did not expect them to Marnie me again. Oh, but they still don't have anything. All right, let's go. So we can go Marnie here, I guess. Um, we'll shuffle the deck to try to increase the chance of getting boss. And I'll just Marnie. I mean, if we're going to be both spam and Marnie, we might as well just make it a Marnie spam game. At this point, it's what the standard format's become, guys. It's become all about the Marnie spam. Probably Marnie them here into what they need to. We'll have to see. I mean, we just need our boss to win. There's our other real boom. We just, I mean, at this point, yeah, we just need boss to win the game. They're down three Marnie, so hopefully we don't get Marnie. We could get stamped to one. That's why I'm also scared of. Yep, they got the Orb Beetle. I mean, I think we can still win, even if they do, like, I mean, we could go, like, Zarud, maybe get an energy, heal the real boom. We could just also swing the real boom. No, that's going to be game. They're just going to G... Well, not game, but they're going to hit me. Okay. The game ain't over yet. Unfortunately, we can't knock them out with max beating. We made a scarf to 300. Yeah, we can only do, what, 280 here? But we can be very bulky. So we just need to get... We just need to get the, uh, bir the, uh, the bird. We need to get the... We need to get the boss here to win this game. So we can dead a change. We have both in the deck. We only have one in the deck. Uh-oh. It's not great odds. No, it's fine. We should hit it. We should hit it. I've seen worse odds before. Do we even have energy to voltage B? We do. We got two energy left. We do have E retrieval though. All right, we just need boss's order. We thinned out our deck quite a bit. Can we get it? We do not, of course. Ooh. So what do we do then? Well, how much are they doing to my my guy here? They're only doing. Hmm. They're doing 250 damage. So they can't knock out my real boom V Max here, no matter what. Honestly, I might just switch into. Oh, I might Bird Keeper. Yeah, Bird Keeper into. The Zarud. We haven't. We can get an E Retrieval here. We haven't gotten an E Retrieval yet. So we can Bird Keeper into the Zarud, get the E Retrieval. We'll also get the boss. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll just do this. Yep, yeah, there's the boss. All right. Play the E Retrieval. We already attached, though, didn't we? Maybe we shouldn't have done that, but it puts energy in our hand. I actually think it's fine. Yeah, I'll we'll just pass. Let we'll, them we'll hit the Zarud. And that didn't really go the way I planned it, but yeah. Uh, they have hammers too? What? Bro, huh? But they got two hammers? Okay. Tails, you love to see it. Alright, we've won. Alrighty then. What a weird game. Yeah, this was a weird one. 
Don't know what really... I mean, I like the idea of playing Zacian and Orbital. It, it actually makes sense, right? They're actually not going to attack me, which is interesting. But we're just going to win anyways, right? We're just going to go... We can also just knock him out with Zerud here. Yeah, we can just boss up the Apple and knock it out with Zerud. And all right, game one is down with the Zerud deck. And we might as well fully heal the Rillaboom VMAX here for the funsies. The funsies, the fun, you know? Heal that big boy. Look at that. Whopping 40 damage healed. You'll love to see it. All right, well, not a bad first game. Beat Norbeetle. I mean, Norbeetle, I would say, would be favored, especially with that Tropical Hour GX we had, right? All right, guys, let's get into... Another match here. We'll go second. Uh, we're up against a Dark and Grass deck. I have no idea what we're playing against. And we get a pretty bad starting hand. Awesome. Great stuff. We're definitely not getting that Rillaboom down here. Obstagoon. Are we playing against an Obstagoon Decidueye deck? I mean, if we are, not a good thing that we're prizing... We're not getting the Rillaboom in play. We can, I guess we can do Force Feast. Because we obviously just attack with Rillaboom here and we're golden. We have Zeru too. We, have, we can do a lot of cool things in this matchup. They have Wind Shard though. This hand's so bad though. What the hell? Ugh, this hand's so bad. We'll just have to do Force Feast and just get two Grookies down. We'll have to play it really slow. Not much I can do. I mean, the game just decided to give me an awful starting hand, so... We have to chill out. But we definitely can do some cool things with Rillaboom and Zerud. Because we can use Zerud to heal the Rillaboom. To make it harder for them to deal with it. Which I feel like at that point, we're golden. Okay, let's see what we draw. No, well, there's Grookey. Alright, we're getting somewhere. We can Forest Feast here. We can get Zerud and Grookey. We could go Triple Grookey too. That might not have been bad, but... They'd have to go Zigzagoon, Bird Keeper... Switch to knock me out. And I ha with a five card hand, there's no way they have that. Yeah. See a research though. Gets rid of a Decidueye net. Okay, so yeah, our game plan here is use Rillaboom. Um, if it gets too much damage on it, we heal it with uh, Jungle Rising. And we have Big Charm. And Big Charm makes it so that the Decidueye can't two-shot me. But I guess they do have their sniping attacks. I don't know. We'll see. Can't win this turn, can we? No, we can't. Okay, so we just go double double here. Definitely attach. We can forest feast again. Might as well just get another Grookey. Don't really want to get anything else down. I don't want to lose my ordinary rod, so I would not mind seeing a Marnie from my opponent. Actually, we should have played the uh we should have actually gotten a Rillaboom VMAX, maybe. They actually decide to ping my Grookey. Why would they not hit the uh Thwacky? Don't really get that. They do have the Decidueye, though, which isn't ideal. That, they probably get the Snipe off here. The 20 damage could be relevant to two-shot me. We'll have to see. Another Goon Ping. Why are they yeah, why are they damaging Grookey? I don't get that. This is where Zerud's going to be really good, though, because just being able to heal our guys. There we go, and they Marnie me. We get to keep our Renee Rod, because we're going to need that to keep the Rillabooms in play. So, that's good. We're going to need it to get back. So, now we have three Rillabooms to work with, and we can probably win three Rillabooms. We got the Switch, too. Perfect. All right, we can attack the... Uh, Decidueye here. And we're golden. Yeah. And for... I mean, we could do double Rillaboom. We could. We could do... No, we only have one Rillaboom in the deck? Yikes. Okay, that's not ideal. <laughs> not the way I wanted to go. We are going to take a prize here, though. We're doing 140 on the dot. I mean, they can't even attack me next turn anyways, most likely. I think we just retreat and just knock them out. It's going to hold the hand. No Marnie, you know, they have a two-card hand. We'll just knock him out Rillaboom. And again, if they try to damage us, we could just heal it with Zerud and make it hard on them to knock out my Rillaboom. Didn't get the other Rillaboom off the prizes, though. Not good. Maybe we should have Marnied. So we, well, I guess what we can do is we can Turf Field, Pokecom, and we can go like Dedenne. We can try to go knock him out with Jungle Rising instead of going with the... And then we can save Rillaboom for when they bring in a Decidueye. Or we can try to Dedenne here for a uh, boss. We have a few options. Again, I really do like the idea of using jungle. We can even jungle rise and heal our other Rillaboom here. We got 90 HP. So we can get one shot by the Sidueye. And I don't think we're ever going to have the VMAX in play. So we can jungle rising. No, they just concede. All right, pretty easy stuff. All right, guys, let's try out this deck here again. Hopefully we get a little bit more action in with Zerud. We have yet to use it, which is a little disappointing. We do get a Zerud start. Unfortunately, we have no Grookey or Eggrow here to go turn one. So that's a bird keeper and hope for the best, I guess. Well, they're mulliganing. We'll see what we're playing against here. 
Okay, looks like we're playing against a lightning deck. We can definitely take on Pika, that's for sure. We can definitely beat Pika. Probably a favorable matchup. I mean, I'm actually glad we're not playing against Luke Metal. Luke Metal's an auto loss probably for this deck because we don't do a lot of damage to them. And yeah, Luke Metal is just, it's a it's an annoying deck. Um, oh my gosh. This hand though really sucks. Really not liking this. Maybe we just Marnie them. I don't know. I mean, we could do, we could still like Jungle Rising. We don't have to go immediately with a Rillaboom, technically. I mean, it would be nice. Can we draw an Eggrow one time? Nope, of course not. All right. I mean, we can get Eggrow here, but what are the chance? I think honestly, we just go Grookey. I don't know. We're, we can Bird Keeper, draw three cards. What are the chances we actually draw anything? Probably not. I think I just Marnie them. I think we just limit their hand. We can always attack with Jungle Rising, build a Rillaboom. We definitely go Rillaboom VMAX here, right? Oh my god, what is this hand? Alright, we just got a pass. This hand is uh, pretty bad. Yay, hooray, bad hands for everybody. Alright, let's see what they got here. I'm hoping they Marnie me, because this hand is literally terrible. The Dene comes down. I mean, if they don't full blitz me, we're chilling too. We can't actually jungle rising to ourselves, which is unfortunate. Marnie me one time. Energy switch? Okay, they're gonna go Electrify. Are they gonna switch? Okay, switch Electrify Marnie would be good to see for them. For us, anyways. Wait, they're gonna- wait, they could've full blitzed me, actually. Wait, what? why would they e-switch to the Bolt Hunt? Now I'm confused. Yes! There's a Marnie! Hooray! We have been saved from our bad hand. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I hate Marnie. What are we getting here? There we go. We do have to get rid of Orne Rod. I'm not really- yeah, that's fine, I guess. Whatever. The good news is, we actually have a playable hand now, which is good. We got a playable hand. Okay, let's see what they do. I don't know why they e-switch to the Bolt Hunt. Ooh, I'm actually, I'm fine with this. We now got Drachi, then we got Naga Pika, and then like one Bolt Hunter to detonate to win the game. Okay, they got a big charm. Okay. Are they gonna put down the Pika? They are. So now we can, I mean, you can still knock out Pika with the Rillaboom with the energy, so it's actually perfect. Don't mind it at all. I am a little scared though of our Thwacky getting knocked out. I think we want to try to go with the Zaru. We want to maybe try to like jungle rising into a potential. Um, yeah, we'll big charm this. I want to maybe try to jungle rise into a Rillaboom V here if it's possible. Mm, no, it isn't possible. We'll get rid of Marnie again. I'm not going to bother with Marnie, bro. It just gives me bad hands all around, dude. I hate it. I am scared of them knocking out my. Um, my yeah, no energy here sucks. I am scared of them knocking out my Grookey. I did big charm it because if they don't knock me out, they could tag bomb my Rillaboom at some point. So we're just going to try to protect the Rillaboom. We just got to hope they don't have a boss. They have a three card hand. I mean, what are the chances they actually have a boss? Well, they have a four card hand. Yeah, what are the chances they have a boss? They're also down one, two to Dene. Yeah, what are the chances they top tick a boss here and actually knock out my Grookey? But if they do that, we can go back to doing uh, Jungle Rising. All right, they promote Bolt Hunt. What are they doing? Air Balloon? So they're gonna full blitz me. No! You- Oh, okay, never mind. They that's actually perfect, because we can heal it. Alright. Oh my god, I can't believe they actually had the boss! Ree! Ree! Ten times- Oh my god, alright. Okay, that, that scared me, not gonna lie. This is actually perfect, because we can fully heal the Rillaboom here. I mean, assuming we don't whiff an energy. So we can go Bird Keeper or Research. I'm gonna do- Honestly, I'm fine with doing Bird Keeper. We can hold the switch for potentially... Thing. Ooh, we didn't get an energy though. I was gonna say we can hold it potentially for uh, Raichu, Raichu. Get rid of the E-Retrieval. I mean, we gotta hope to draw an energy here, but I'm not doing a uh, Voltage Beat for the reason. There we go, we got energy, perfect. Holy cow, that gave me a bit of a scare, not gonna lie. Yeah, they should have bossed out my Grookey. I'm glad they didn't, though. That scared me, though. I was like, no, bro, they actually got it. But we're chilling. We can jungle rising here. 100 damage. Might as well put both energy on in case they play Crushing Hammer. And we get to fully heal the Rillaboom. We set all that damage they did. Uh, do we want to put both on? Yeah, I think we do. I don't really want to get rid of these switches. I think we might just boss next turn. They're probably going to retreat the Pika, right? They're going to go into Bolt Hunt. They can knock me out with Bolt Hunt here. We have another Zerud in play. They knock me out. And then we boss knock out their Pika. Or we can knock out Raichu, too. I mean, either or is fine. The Pika's probably more of a threat, though. What are the chances they tag bolt me? 
Like, I, mm, they could tag bolt me here. But again, we did protect our Rillaboom here. And the tag bolt can't one-shot my Zarud anyways, because we have 210 HP. Yeah, so it's fine. Whew. That boss, though, bro. Holy. Not gonna lie. It scared me. Okay, there's a switch. Yeah, they're gonna knock me out Bolt Hunt. Which is fine. How much is that doing exactly? 280? Okay, so yeah, we actually we have to knock out a, a three prize, a three energy Pokemon here because Rillaboom. Um actually that they can they can knock me out potentially. So yeah, I think we definitely want to go here. So we're just gonna go boss. Uh just knock out the Pika. They actually can serve energy, right? How much HP do they got? 170. Oh, well, we have to get rid of one energy here, actually. Right? For 180 damage. Yeah, it's pretty hype, actually. We just get rid of one energy to knock him out. Let's go. Yo, Rillaboom VMAX busted. And thanks to our Zarud, fully healing the Rillaboom VMAX. We're good to go. We get the knockout. All is good in the hood. More energy is good. All right, nice. What else? Grookey. Calm. So, we, I mean, we just win next turn, right? We have boss's order. We just knock out Raichu or both our Pika. They're definitely not going to have another big charm. So, unless they Marnie or stamp me here, we win the game. But even if we don't, if they do stand me, we we potentially get like the Dene or like a supporter. We can try to go into the Zarud and just fully heal the Rillaboom again. We can just kind of, we, we, we can repeat this little like Zarud Rillaboom combo here. Nope, no Marnie. They should have Marnied me. They had a Marnie in their hand. Yep, they had a Marnie. I don't know why. They should have Marnied me. I mean, I guess they didn't know I had boss in hand, but still. It's also a good thing they didn't build up Raichu, but I mean, we have, we still have we have all of our bait. We have all of our switches. We have one bird keeper. How much is Bolt Storm doing? 220. All right. Well, we just win anyways. And that'll be game. Would have liked to have maybe done a little bit more of Zarud action here. Not going to lie. But we're just going to take a big knockout. 280 damage with the Rila Boom V Max. Yeah. If we weren't winning there for whatever reason, I definitely would have went with the Zarud heal combo for sure. And just hope they didn't have a boss. We could have maybe like stamped him too. But that wasn't bad at all. At least we got to use Zarud. That was good. All right, guys, let's get into another match with the deck here. Um, I'm liking it so far. I maybe want to maybe play more. I don't like you can't even really play more supporters. I feel like we have a good amount of supporters and draw. Um, I don't know what else I'd really add to this deck. I'm thinking about it. I mean, more energy. All right, we do get a Grookey start. We do have the Rillaboom play, though. As long as our other th Thwacky's not prized. We'll see how that goes. Even if it is, one thing we can do is kind of slept on. We can actually just go with those early Zarud, power up Zarud, as long as they don't play Crushing Hammer. And then we can just do Jungle Rising and build up something on the bench. So sometimes, even if you don't get the Rillaboom down, you can still go with that Zarud combo, which is still pretty decent. So it's fine. Uh, we'll see what they're playing here. They got Garchomp sleeves. They start with a Nidoran. They're playing some kind of Nido Queen deck, I guess. Nido Queen struggles to one-shot me, so that could be good. Again, Zarud could be pretty good here. I think we still have to use Rillaboom VMAX, though, because um, Nido Queen... Or they might be playing Galissapod. If they're playing the Galissapod Sinchino Nido Queen deck I use, then we don't want to bench too many V Pokemon. There's a Quick Ball, gets rid of an Ornay Rod. Another Nido Ran, okay. I don't think this, this is definitely not a modified Relentless Flame theme deck, right? I'm pretty sure it's not. I mean, this guy's got some legit stuff. Um, we could do Bird Keeper. So you can Quick Ball here. We have the Thwacky. All right, we do. It's lean the deck. So we'll bench it. Bird Keeper. Uh, bruh. Oh my god. No, bro. We drew the... Th oh my gosh. What do you mean we draw the Thwacky? <laughs> All right, well, uh, we'll just evolve into a Rillaboom VMAX then, I guess. We'll be set back one turn. I mean, they're a stage two deck. They're not guaranteed to even hit me next turn anyway, so it's not the end of the world. We have, oh my gosh. Now I wish I just retreated. I, maybe we should just retreat it there instead of playing Bird Keeper. It is what it is. But I didn't want to play the research too, right? Because I don't want, I, like, I don't know. That just sucks. That's just very unfortunate. Speaking of unfortunate, they actually had the Rare Kitty Needle Queen in that hand. So we are actually going to get attacked here. But this is where this root comes. We can, like, sponge a hit. And then we go with the root next turn. Never mind. Grookey is going to get knocked out? Question mark? Well, they, they can't get Dedene with this. Oh, my gosh. Uh. Dude, rip, bro. No, dude. The cheese. What are they getting here? What? Beedrill? Oh my god. I didn't consider. That's actually a... What, dude? 
Yo, this guy's a genius. This guy's got a big brain deck. Oh my god, that's actually kind of cool. That adds to Needle Queen's damage output and it lets him put a draw three cards. Yo. Oh my gosh, that's actually kind of genius. All right, well, we need to get Ornay Rod now. I mean, we got to bring in the Rillaboom. I, I don't think they're playing Hammers, thankfully, so we should be okay. We do need to get Grookey back here. Okay, well. We didn't get a, uh, we didn't get a, uh, Ornate Rod, is what I meant to say. Do we have it in the deck? Yeah, it's there. I mean, we drew three switches, which are not really helping us. What else do we have? Five energy. We only have... We have six energy left. We price a couple energies, it looks like. Hopefully, they don't have another boss. That is actually kind of unfortunate. They had the boss, too. They had the Rare Candy Needle Queen boss combo. That's, like, that's a pretty good opening hand. Still, though, uh, we kind of got destroyed there, not gonna lie. Honestly, we should have actually built up... We probably should have put a Zerud down, but we had no way to find it, because... I guess we could have calm for Zerud. Maybe we should have gone Zerud instead of Grookey. Yeah, you know, we should have went that route. Then we could have healed the Rillaboom. Yeah, you know, we should have done the Zerud play there. I think we're gonna get bodied here. This guy just had, like, an insane hand, and he had the Beedrill play out of nowhere, which was pretty funny, so... <laughs> I think we're still gonna get kind of destroyed here, no matter what. I, we can knock him out Tropical Hour, though, which is what we have to do. But if we had Rillaboom down, we could have Tropical Hour... Like, if we hit Ornate Rod there, we could have went Tropical Hour... All the energy back in the deck, but... Not today. Uh, this deck's actually clever. Maybe I'll do a video on this guy's deck. I actually really like this idea of using Beedrill. Because I, I was thinking about how to build this card. It's like... It, it's not a very good card, though. Like, there's no combos I can really think of it being useful in. But, playing Needle Queen... That's a pretty smart combo, though. Because it powers Needle Queen's attack. So maybe Beedrill with Needle Queen is actually a good combo. So maybe we'll maybe I'll try to build this deck soon. How much are they doing? 110 damage. Yeah, they're gonna hit me pretty hard. I mean, we can Marnie them. That is that's give them a supporter though, but we had to play it. Still no Ornay Rod. That's not good. Definitely not gonna give him a turf field. Still no Zarud either. So we can knock him out Calming Hurricane. We'll have 100, we'll have 220 HP here. That actually feels pretty safe. I think we just take him out Kami Hurt. Or we just hit him with, no, that's not knock him out though. Okay, that's still fine, I think. I don't know. I think we're going to get bodied here, guys. We're, we got super unlucky that we drew the Thwacky there. I wish I retreated now, but sometimes it does happen though. The Glossifer too. I don't know if I agree with this. I'd probably honestly rather just play Tapu Koko. I think Tapu Koko would just be better instead of Eldegoss. Capture and G Coco. Yeah, I don't know about the Elagos. I get the idea, but I don't think I agree with the Elagos. Yeah, I think we got knocked out. We should have just Tropical hour there. We should have went Tropical hour. I just... Yeah. I mean, we can knock him out with Scratch, I guess. But then Rillaboom takes damage. Yeah, I don't know. This is not... We need to get that Ornate Rod, bro, to get those Thwackies back, bro. We just drew super unlucky there off that Bird Keeper. There's nothing I can do about that. We just got bodied. We probably would have won the game if we didn't, but... And we're getting wrecked, bro. The the guy had a perfect opening hand to KO my Grookey. And he has Beedrill in the deck. So... Not much I can say about that. But hey, I don't mind losing two creative decks. That's always... It's fine by me, bro. He's got a pretty creative idea. Again, I'm not... I don't really like the Eldegoss in the deck. Again, I'd rather just play Tapu Koko Prism Star. Um... I would, yeah, I would just play Coco Prism over the Eldegoss, but I mean, he's got a pretty creative deck here. Do we actually get knocked out? Maybe we don't. No, we do. Yeah, he's doing 240. A Blue's Tactic, bro? Wait, what? I guess Blue's Tactic makes sense with the Beedrill because your hand's going to be really low when you play it. Oh, he's not knocking me out? I swear he was. 10 HP left. Yo, big charm for the win. I mean, we're still in trouble, though. What are the chances he plays Tool Scrapper? I mean, we have to do the Bird Keeper to, to switch, though. Yeah, still no... Um... We didn't get a switch. I would have waited to see switch. We want to build up uh, Zarud. I even have to build a Rillaboom. I mean, we are drawing pretty poorly here, which isn't really helping our case. I think we have the Dead A change. 
I mean, I hate to give him that, but there's nothing he can really get right now, so it doesn't really matter. We are wasting an E-Retrieval, which kind of sucks. I want to try to get some goodies here. There's the Rude. Still can't find my Ordinary Rod, unfortunately. It is still nowhere to be seen. We also can get another Supporter off of that, which is also pretty frustrating. We can Crobat for two? I guess. If this gets us... Rod. There we go. We got it. We already wasted our turf field, though, but we can finally get back the Thwackies. Yeah. I mean, he might not even play a counter stadium. Hopefully he doesn't, because we can get the Rillaboom down in a couple turns as long as he doesn't boss me, but he probably would want to boss the egg ground. We can make a comeback. We can definitely make a comeback here. I, f I mean, assuming we would actually find one of our four switches we have yet to play, we would be great to try to go into Zarude in a couple turns to try to heal the Rillaboom here. Beedrill has a fruit tree cost? That's that Oh, yeah, okay. This Beedrill Needle Queen deck actually might be pretty cool. I might actually make a video on this deck. This is a really cool idea. Okay, he has a triple. I mean, maybe Needle Queen Beedrill Galissapod could be a really fun deck. Maybe you don't even need Coco Prison. Yeah, you know what? Needle Queen, Needle Queen Galissapod Beedrill, that might be a deck I might have to make a video on because I want to do something with this Beedrill. You know, I want to cover all the interesting cards in a new set. And I can't think of anything with Beedrill, but this guy might have cracked the code. He might have found a cool combo for Beedrill that actually might make it somewhat useful. I mean, we'll see what we can do here. Hopefully, he doesn't have a counter stadium. If he has a counter stadium and we don't draw anything useful here, but he also just two shots my Rillaboom. He needs, a, he needs another triple. We'll see if he has it. We'll see. I mean, we could also, we could sponge two hits and then we can go into Zarud and fully heal, which would be the ideal play. So I think we're going to go scratch. Hope it doesn't two shot me. And then we go with the Zarud and then try to heal this thing. Assuming, again, we can find, I'll say it one more time, one of our four switches in our deck. <laughs> we just need to draw well, right? How many supports do we have left? Still have these, we still have a couple Marnies, we still have a Bird Keeper, another boss. No, he two shots for a little bit, right? We have Aggro. Oh, you know what? The math is actually really bad for us. We hit him for 50. Zuru can't even one-shot him in return. Yeah, I think we lose this unless he doesn't have another triple energy. I think we just lose. Okay, well, we get finally get the... I mean, we could still go for that Tropical Hour play at some point. That could still be our recovery play. We could switch into Zarud here, too. We could give up a Dedenne or a Crobat. But then if he knocks out any of these, we just lose. I don't like that. We could boss something up here. We can boss the Needle... We can boss up the Needle Arena. No, but he'd still need a triple energy. We could just boss out the Eldegoss. We can retreat. Well, we're already low on energy recovery cards. We could do like boss Mario next turn, try to get a switch, and then try to fully heal the Rillaboom. I like that, I guess. We gotta try to buy a turn here. I don't really have much of a choice. We gotta hope he doesn't have a switch energy in hand. He has a four card hand. I mean, he hit the nuts turn one, but we'll see if he has it again. We just need to go into like a Zarud here. I mean, Aggro can probably win us a game too. I just don't want to give up two prizes, though. Okay, he has the energy. He could just do Blessings of Fluff. But then we knock him out with Zarude. I don't know. I don't see how we're still winning this. But Marnie should find us one of our switches. Again, we have four in the deck. I don't think we prized any of our switches. I'm pretty sure we didn't. We might have prized one. But still, like, three switch off of a Marnie. There's still good odds we find switch here to go into the Zarude. We could Tropical Hour him, actually, instead. You know what? Actually, we should go Tropical Hour, but we'll still be heavily damaged. We'll have 10 HP left. He can knock me out with Leafage. I don't know, actually. We'll see what he does. No, he can't knock me out with Leafage, maybe. Okay, maybe we do go Tropical Hour, then. Yeah, you know what? Tropical Hour is fine. That might be, yeah, you know what, yeah, yeah. If we need to get Switch, of course, if we don't get it, I mean, he knocks me out, we'd probably just lose here. Do Research. We could play the Research instead of the Marnie. But, okay, let's just do this first. Okay, we're definitely not doing, we have four Switch in the deck. There's, okay. If we whip Switch here off this Marnie, bro, I don't know what to tell you. We have like a jillion Switches in the deck. Okay, we should find one. Really good chances to get a Switch. 
Okay. So, yeah. We gotta go Tropical Hour, and then we gotta hope he doesn't have a way to KO me. He, oh, he could Twin Energy Scratch me. Oh my gosh, that would be hilarious. If he, if he Twin Energy Scratches me here. Maybe we should've just went Zerud then. But we had no energy in the hand. So, Zerud wouldn't have worked, actually. We have no energy in the discard for e retrieval either. I think we just gotta hope for the best with this Tropical Hour. There's an energy. So, we can switch into Zerud next turn and heal. Okay, we just gotta hope he doesn't get an energy here for the, uh, for the Nidoran. I mean, if he does, we knock him out with Jungle Rising, and then we heal the Rillaboom, and then we go just aggro with Rillaboom here on the Needle Queen. We're really low on energy, though. But no, if he knocks out... I mean, he just needs to knock out Zerud if he kills me here. Okay, so this makes him have to have a triple energy. Oh, and he can still bite me. Yes, still the Needle Queen. Pro, this is really bad. Okay, blue, that's fine. If he doesn't knock me out here, we're big chillin'. Evo Incense. Another Needle Queen. Does he has two cards in his hand? What are the chances he has a triple? Do you have a triple energy? If he has triple here, we're bodied. Can he oh he could he do another Beedrill maybe? No, he gets a Glossifer. Oh no, but we can have a grass in his hand. He could literally razor leaf me. Oh my gosh, bro. This guy has so many options. He has a two-card hand. There's a good chance he actually doesn't have an energy here. Especially because I just shuffled them all in the deck. But he could have drawn one. Oh boy, this is scary. This is scary. <laughs> this is so intense. Let's go. Alright. Recovery time. Can we draw a Marnie, maybe? Okay. Okay. We can't kill him with Zerud. I think we gotta go Marnie here. We'll let him knock. I think we just knock him out with Calming Hurricane. Right? We gotta stamp. We can stamp him to two if he knocks me out. Okay, this is fine. So we Marnie him to four. Hopefully take away any triple energies. Because he could still not knock me out here. And then we hit him. Knock out the Beedrill. Heal a bit of damage. Take our prize. Rillaboom. Do we, how many grass do we have prize? We got eight in play. None in the discard. I think we I think we probably we still have one grass energy prize, I think. So we still have what? I think four or five grass energies left to work with with this energy retrieval. Viridian? Okay, and that's fine. That can start we can start to thin out stuff. If he doesn't knock out this egg route though, I think we're on the path to winning this game. We could retreat and go Zerud KO and build up Rillaboom. As long as we have a way to one-shot Needle Queen. We're big chillin'. So I think, honestly, maybe we just go Zerud, knock out the Glossifer. If he gets, if he, he might just Eldegoss this turn, right? I think he's gonna go Eldegoss. How many Eldegoss does he play? Just one. So I guess he's gonna go Eldegoss here. And then we retreat into Zerud. And then we Energy Retrieval, build up the Rillaboom VMAX. We do need to heal the Egg Grab, but even, we could also just come and Hurricane him. And then if he knocks me out, we stamp him the two. But then we can't heal this right away. Hmm. We can also stay him to three if he knocks us. I think we just go Zerud. But we also need to heal the Egg Row too. So maybe we have to heal the Egg Row here. Hmm. We'll see how much energy we have left in the deck. That'll be the deciding factor of this. Because we need an energy to attack with this thing. I don't know. Maybe let him get knocked out isn't the worst thing ever. Okay, we can Viridian and check to see how much energy we have in the deck. We have two left. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna go Zerud here. Well, he will have to heal both, I think. Well, he actually can't knock me out, right? He's only doing. He can't one shot Zerud, actually, because he doesn't have another evolution in play. So we can actually just do Jungle Rising for the knockout. We don't have to heal Eggrow. Yeah, we don't have to heal it. We'll just put both energy on the uh, Rillaboom. Yeah, we don't have to heal Eggrow here, actually. We could. But I actually... Because he, he can't knock me out, right? Oh, he could get another Beedrill in play, I guess. He has a two-card hand. There's actually a good chance he goes Beedrill here. Yeah, he can go Beedrill knockout. And then he just needs to boss the... Okay, you know what? We have to heal the... We have to heal the Eggrow then. Because he could knock me out if he goes Beedrill, which he can do thanks to Queen's Call and Viridian. He concedes. Let's go, bro! We won! All right, there you go, guys. That'll wrap the next piece of video, guys, on the Zeru deck.
we all we put up a really good fight there against a pretty creative needle queen beedrill deck i actually want to try that out so i might make a video on that deck at some point that's a pretty cool idea not gonna lie I, using beedrill in that manner actually seems pretty cool but that'll be it for the video guys on the zarud rillaboom deck really liking this deck i liked it a lot again you do take an l to fire but if you want to play double be my guest but double again like, two double isn't going to solo you against two senna scorch so I feel like you just got to take the L to the fire matchup. Other than that, though, I do like this deck. I would honestly maybe consider playing more energy. Uh, another ordinary rod would be really good, too. I do want to try to squeeze in extra energy in this deck if there is somehow room. That'll be it for the video, guys, on the Zerud Rillaboom deck. Let me know what you guys thought of it down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed today's PCO Vivid Voltage video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in another video tomorrow. Bye-bye.